how do you feel about uh, being humble in the industry? Does it get you further with standing on business versus being arrogant? Oh, uh, they got a, they got a, they got a, an artist who's be too humble don't make it as far. Right now, the industry want to see ignorant shit. You know Social what I'm saying? Media. Yeah, like, like, an artist that be humble. My example, example, DJ Chose. DJ Chose is too humble. The DJ Chose really can get on there and say, I got more plaques than all you Houston niggas that's trying to rap. He can. Mm -hmm. Right or wrong? You're right. Who the biggest artist? DJ Chose, DJ Chose, DJ Chose got more plaques than zero. Joe got a lot of plaques. He do, but he can't say he got more uh, plaques than everybody in Houston. Damn there. Yeah, majority like he he's top. I, he's top five, top ten, top three. It's, it's a lot of well. well I get yeah, I, I give him top three. Top three. Top five. Top five. Top three. Top five. Wow. I, I, do y'all know the plaques he got? Yeah, he got a lot. He got a lot. writers uh, Man, he plaques. Got he got a, he got a lot. Thirty. No disrespect to DJ Tra Travis Scott probably got more. Megan. Beyonce. Beyonce. That's why we just said five. That's why we said top five. Matter of fact, I think Charles got more than Megan. If he if he don't if he don't, it's a close race. If he don't, it's a close race. Yeah. he up there with And nobody give him credit. But I don't think he looks for credit. He just. That's why I say he's humble. You say you say humble popping. Now let let Charles pop his shit. He'll shut everybody down. Now nah, he do like, he a lot of black stuff. You, you think it's such thing as playing the safe though? Nah, the yes, no, no, he he a good person. But I told him one time, you go on there, people always leaving him out the top group. Y'all make lists and leave him out. You ain't post him a lot. I, I do. You know how you post a chose. Uh, whenever he DM me and say, "Oh, I got yeah, this yeah, post this yeah, but 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 you should give him his flowers and say. The world is forgetting my chose. I agree with you. Big King. Big King too. Big King survived for twelve years. Big King club banger. Yep. Big King is a club banger. Listen, B college banger. He he B -King, aims for the Big King had a longer life. run than the legends out here. Big King a legend. Yeah, he's definitely. Big King let me down this year. We want the broke B King back. We want the independent B King back. We want mm -hmm. the we want we want the B King and the slides back. When B King started wearing tennis shoes <laughs> this year, we ain't had no hit. B King say he need a break. He's no. tired of holding. He tired of holding a club on his back. No. See, he, he a C yes, CEO did. now too, so he, he more so yeah, he promoting his artists. I need B King. I need B King with the. I need B King with the basketball shorts. Mm -hmm. He's still making money from the basketball shorts though. Like yeah, you know so, what I'm saying? So that's that's what B King before he got signed, before he got that huge check, before he got that big house, before he got that beautiful girl. I used to like B King when he used to fuck with the ratchets. <laughs> <laughs> we need that B King back. So if everybody see this, tag B King and tell them we need the broke B King back. But I feel like it's three artists like in, in that category. Like the mm -hmm. people, a lot of people don't understand like what they doing. DJ chose, B King, and O T B Fast Lane. Man, that nigga there, that nigga there got hit. I need, I want that. I want a Fast Lane. Ooh, I want a Fast Lane. Fast Lane like a, Fast Lane like a, uh, a Mo Three. Fast Lane, nah, Fast, Lane Fast Lane come out with a hit every year. Every year. I mean, they and Houston don't give them the credit for it. We, I think we do. We do. See, we, we do. do. Yeah, See, the like. thing, the thing about it, it, it's like the world and the industry is more than Houston. Like yeah. as far as Houston, he's one of the few artists that can pack a show out anytime. No, anytime. no, no. I'm saying when well, Houston give Houston be, should be fighting on the argument. Everybody under them come and say cheese and everything. Nigga, they, they, they Houston making noise. A fast line, fast line, fast line. Like like they, like they used to do for zero. I guarantee you, if if. Say cheese or who, whatever blog or post a Houston list nah, and don't have fast lane on there nah, or have them in know, a low I, spot. I, no, Houston saying, is gonna be I'm under the Houston argument. Should be attacking. Like you know, the, why y'all keep posting little baby? We got fast lane down here. We got, you know, they gotta stand up for fast lane like they stand up for young boy. Mm. Let, them, let, them like, um, let them die. Let them die. They go. They gonna label him as a goat. But while he's alive, they ain't giving him the flowers he need. Fast Lane the fool. I agree. Fast Lane a good representation for H Town. That goes back to us as a state not having 
that type of music platform. Like we have blogs. Man, we have what are y'all talking producers. about? I'm saying like that do that, this is a good this is a state of music platform. What are you talking I about? I think we do have a good platform. platform. I just think our the the rappers that we have, producers that we have, they are so I say stuck in their ways with going about how they want to go about it, and they're not uh, open to working with or promoting. Now the thing other is, people. the thing is, everybody's trying to rap now. And everybody's trying to sign artists, and everybody worry about themselves now. People so worry about competition. Yeah. They're not worried. But it about is a, it is building. But it is a competition. It is a competition. If you sign a rapper, you want your rapper to be number one. Of course, but still, you yeah. still gotta, you know, like OT. You say we don't put on for OTV fasting like we do young boy why me um that's the problem cause OTV from Houston mm -hmm. why we not and I'm just, I'm not just young boy. I'm just saying, like, you know. But yeah, I understand yeah. what you're saying. But I, I, I honestly feel like when it comes to Houston, Texas, OTB fast lane gets its flaws. Yeah, I think so. I think mm -hmm. so. But also, like how 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 you made the example, like when a lot of rappers, like Don, you you put the blame on them. Yeah. So it's like the same same situation. I feel like he's he have to take some of the blame as well. Now he he had not, a lot of hits. He he, he need to get out this era. Yeah, he, he got he got him he got him he, he, he has Houston like I, this I is believe, his city. I believe I believe like Spaz ain't too comfortable. He gotta get out of Houston. You need he need to go to uh, he need to go to Atlanta and do the same thing he do. He need matter of fact everybody everybody need to load the bus and go to Atlanta and Miami and go to the clubs out there and show them Texas uh, swag. And that's what it culture. is. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. We don't uh, yeah. branch right, branch yeah. out. Everybody catch the bus and we're going to Atlanta this summer. But I honestly feel like, because people have a lot of questions on why this and why that, I feel like in in Texas, especially Houston, like when artists get that buzz, like the inner city buzz, they get comfortable and they and they just stop. And they they stop. don't want nothing else. Yeah. And they stop. So what's the good? Uh, now nah, you can get sucked in to Houston fame. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you go get them hoes. You go to. You get everything. Yeah. You can go to the address. You can go to the Ratchet Club. You can be a star. Go to the gallery and be a turkey leg. Oh, I, I walked in that bitch and they took about 40 pictures. <laughs> so at the end of the day, it, 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 so yeah, you can come to Houston and be a star and without even, even be sucked in and not even think about the world. So yeah, you're right though. Houston is the gift and the curse. Because once a nigga get a little fame, they stuck in Houston. Mm -hmm. So what's some advice you can give to an artist? Uh, uh, leave. So leave. Once you, got it, once you got it locked down, leave. Only person that leave was Sauce Walker. Don't get too comfortable yeah. in your own state. Sauce Walker, the only person that left. Leave, he'll leave, come back, leave, come back, he'll drive all around the whole world. So I'm talking a good businessman. Mm -hmm. I tell you that. He, he got an artist and uh, an Asian artist. Mm -hmm. He has an Asian artist. You know? He sure does. Like, he and TSF. Out. TSF is. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he, a, he, a, he a counselor though, so he's smart. He you know, he a counselor. Yeah, he a counselor. It's birthday in June. He's oh, a, no, yeah. I'm we're the smartest people alive. We're the smartest. We're the smartest people alive. But I, I honestly feel like though, as far as Sauce Walk, I feel like he's now he, he's now realizing like what what he's supposed to be doing. Because at first he wasn't he wasn't always traveling. Yeah, he wasn't. God taught him. He's seen everybody around. He's living around. He's smart. 